so ill for the past week, but I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. It started like exactly a week ago. My throat started hurting and then it just got really bad for like four days. Now my throat's better, but now I'm all congested and I can like feel a bunch of mucus like in my throat. Sorry if that's TMI, whatever. I had to like leave class twice today to blow my nose. It's a little bit miserable, but we're getting through. Today's Thursday and I registered for my classes on Tuesday and I got every single class that I wanted. I love being a rising senior and getting priority. I registered for my dream class, forensic psychology, and that'll finish out my degree. And then I have biomedical ethics to complete my GE and count towards my public health concentration. And then just for fun, just to like take up class spots, I'm taking intermediate photography and lyric theater, which should be interesting. Technically I was supposed to audition for lyric theater, but I was like really sick when auditions were being held. So I emailed the professor like, hey, can I get around this? And he's like, absolutely, we'll talk later, just sign up. So I'm excited, it should be really fun. Also there's a new Taylor Swift album being released tonight and I'm excited to listen to it. Although I think it's gonna be sad. And I don't like listening to sad music because why would I make myself sad on purpose? Like I'd rather just be happy, obviously. But I'm gonna give it a try and I have a feeling that I might relate to some of these songs, which almost makes it worse because then I get even more sad. But I'll probably give you guys a rundown of my thoughts on the album tomorrow. I'm going to sit here and sip this bubbler for half an hour and then I'm going to work early because every Thursday we have a weekly like team meeting for my social media job. Um, but I'm going early today because I got a fellowship for the summer with this job So I need to go early to have a little meeting about that Drinking caffeine in the morning was probably not the best idea because now I'm kind of shaking. I usually do it in the afternoon out of choir and we don't want to go to the dining hall so we're at the cage thank you and i just served you your food thank you <laughs> this is my favorite thing here it's the margarita grilled cheese it's just like a grilled cheese with tomato and basil in it and then it comes with a pickle and chips and it is delish abby and emily are here hello <laughs> that smells um, so good i'm jealous emily's showing me margaritas Oh, it's it's the pink. Pink. it's the pink for me. I am basking in this moment because after I finish this food I have to go back to my dorm and shower and Write an essay that I've been putting off for a very long time. Tyler's over there. He just looked at me weird Vlog. Hi, vlog. Hi. Where are you going? <laughs> We're back. We are showered. I have my pimple patches on I've been trying to get rid of this pimple for days and it like goes away overnight and then it comes back during the day It's so annoying I need to move you guys. This is not a very good angle for the essay writing. Anyway, I have an essay to write. I did get an extension on it already because I was sick and just like couldn't do anything productive. So I have to actually like get down to real business and write this thing. Also, if you can hear the wind, it's just like so loud. There's nothing I can do about it. Also, my friends are all going to Applebee's tonight for my other friend's birthday, but I'm not going partly because I'm sick, partly because I'm tired, partly because I don't want to spend money. Partly because I don't want to drink, which, I mean, nobody's forcing me to drink, but, like, that's the reason why they're going, because it's my friend's 21st birthday. And, um, did I say partly because I have this essay to do? Yeah. So I'm staying in and having a night to myself while everyone is out. I'm gonna work on this essay until it gets dark outside, I think, and then I'm going to relax because I have very strong boundaries for, like, homework, work, and life. And unless it's really desperate, I will not do homework during the nighttime because I like to spend that time resting and relaxing and doing things that are fun for me so that I don't get burnt out. Also, I'm so dead ass when I say this. I'm going to listen to either Gregorian chants or meditation music while I write this essay because someone in chamber choir brought it up today and it just like lit the light bulb in my head and I was like, that's what I need to write this essay tonight. Let me know if this annoys you. What? Oh, that's gonna annoy the fuck okay, out of me. Okay, then I will not. <laughs> I have noise canceling on and I can still hear that
happy friday i went to both my classes today miraculously so that is hopeful it means i am on the road to true recovery i was this close this close to not going to my second class but i was already like in the area of campus and i was like might as well i just came back to my room for a little bit to rest and unwind for a minute i'm watching miss katie on youtube i also remembered i told you guys i would give my review of the taylor swift album i listened to it one time so this is based off of one listen and i have my ratings written down on my laptop I'm just gonna go through every song and give you my rating out of 10. Fortnite, 8 out of 10. The Torture Post Department, 5 out of 10. My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys, 6.5 out of 10. Down Bad, 9 out of 10. So Long London, 6.5 out of 10. But Daddy I Love Him, 6.5 out of 10. Fresh Out the Slammer, 7.5 out of 10. Florida, 9 out of 10. Guilty of Sin, 8.5 out of 10. Who's Afraid of Little Old Me, 5 out of 10. I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can, 7 out of 10. Love of My Life, 5 out of 10. I Can Do It With a Broken Heart, 8.5 out of 10. The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived, 8 out of 10. The Alchemy, 6.5 out of 10. And Clara Bow, 7 out of 10. My top songs overall are Guilty as Sin, Down Bad, and Florida. Florida kind of reminds me of Halsey. I feel like either Halsey or Lana would have been a really good feature, but I think Florence and the Machine was also just beautiful. To be honest, I'm not the biggest Taylor fan. I used to love her when I was little and she was in her country era. I actually have like the physical copy of her country CD and I was obsessed, but I just like can't really get into her new stuff, but I do really like those few songs that I just mentioned. I'm gonna keep resting for a little bit. I might take a nap, honestly, I'm really tired. I still have a couple things to do today. I have my radio show and I have choir and I have to work on that essay that I was working on yesterday. So wish me luck and I guess I'll see you later. I don't really know what I'll film, but I guess we'll find out. We in the, oh. <laughs> we in the club. Um, we're at the radio show. Mm -hmm. That's and you aren't into it at all. <laughs> no, I'm just like not feeling well today. That's okay. I got lunch in a to-go box. I got pasta with like a crap ton of mozzarella cheese and like- It looked really good. What's it called? Pesto? Yeah, pesto. It's like my- <laughs> <laughs> morning it is saturday i just finished that essay that i've been working on for the past like three days and i turned it in so that feels really good it was just a draft but it's a graded draft so it was basically the entire essay but then i have to revise and do it again later which is not a problem it was just the draft that was stressing me out today should be pretty fun i'm going to lunch in a little bit and then i'm going to a film festival with some people in one of my film classes it's not for class but an email was just sent out to everyone who's currently in a film class saying that this is happening and if you want to go let them know and then they'll get you a ticket so there's like 20 of us going it's in minneapolis and i signed up to watch this film i think it's in dutch it's called sweet dreams and it looks a little bit scary and a little bit interesting and i'm excited and then after that i'm going to a shorts program so it'll just be a bunch of like short films back to back i'm really excited because i've been wanting to go to a film festival for a long time but i know that it's the kind of thing where like i wouldn't make that happen for myself so it's like being made happen for me I didn't really know what to wear. I was like Googling stuff, but it wasn't really helpful. I did find someone that said like, if you're just going as a guest and you're not going to network, then like casual is fine. So I did like kind of dressy casual. I'll show you the whole outfit in the mirror in a little bit. I probably won't talk to you guys while I'm there because I mean, I'll just be busy. And also I'm just with a bunch of people that I don't know very well but I'll definitely grab some B-roll so you can see what the vibe is. And then after that, I'm gonna come back and go to a 2000s themed party with my friend Meredith. Okay, here's the outfit. The boots are from Target. These are just like sheer tights. And then I thrifted the dress and it's from Old Navy. This bodysuit I think is also from Old Navy. And then I have my necklace that I wear all the time and hoop earrings and my regular rings. I think it's cute. I think it's good for a film festival, but what do I know? I've never been to one. I also need to pick a bag. I was gonna go with that purse right there, but I just don't think it really matches the vibe of the outfit. So I'm thinking maybe this green one because the green kind of matches the dress. I also have to wear a jacket because it is in fact very cold outside. It only kind of ruins the outfit's vibe. At least it's black, but I don't want to be cold. So let's ride. I 
went to the bathroom and lost everyone, so I'm just wandering by myself. Solo outing. film festival was really fun. I really liked the first movie that we saw. I ordered sushi because we just barely missed the calf hours and I just like didn't want to rush there and like not eat. This is my go-to order. It's avocado spring rolls and cucumber spring rolls. I'm also watching a true crime documentary. It'll be a couple hours until Meredith comes over and we go to the party so I'm just gonna chill and relax for a minute. I put on these star earrings. I don't know how much they contribute to the 2000s look, but they're definitely contributing to my happiness. I'm gonna try to do like some messy shimmery eyeshadow. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this shimmer from ColourPop on the lid and then try like a smoked out eyeliner kind of look. This is my attempt. It's definitely not my best work. I feel like I need more sparkles. Okay, probably still not my best work, but it's okay, it's gonna be dark anyway, like no one's actually gonna be looking at me. I also put on some pink lip gloss in the spirit of the 2000s. My goal tonight is to dance. As long as the music is good, we are going to dance tonight. Amazing. You guys should say hi to the vlog. Hi. Meredith and Darby are here. Hi. And they look really cute. Oh, what is in this? You've got the YouTuber squat, you've got the- What? You've got the like, you've got the YouTuber squat. The YouTuber squat, and you've got the- Hi guys. Hi guys! Good morning. Today is gonna be a very productive day. I have some homework to do and I have some work to do both just like by myself and then I have to get together with my coworkers from my social media job and film a video. But first I'm gonna get lunch by myself. I think I'm just gonna go like somewhere with a table and just like eat my food while I work. And then I also have Chris Johnson choir rehearsal. And then there is a concert later tonight for the Canary choir, but I don't think I'm gonna go because I actually have a lot of homework to do. I have to start this annotated bibliography for my film theory class that is due on Tuesday and I have not started it yet. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go be a productive girly for the rest of the day. Afternoon slump hit me so hard. I am so tired. 